Thanks for giving us a few minutes to share with you how much we care about the Denunce Transparency Framework under the Paris Agreement. The FAO Transparency Team, in particular under the Capacity Building Initiative of Full Transparency of the Global Environment Fund, is fully committed to supporting country to enhance transparency in the agricultural and land use sector. To do that, we join forces with other transparency colleagues. Transparency needs a strong network of experts. For building synergies, avoiding duplication of efforts, and catalyzing action on the ground. Accelerating the transition towards the ETF, especially in the follow sector. An excellent opportunity to respond to the capacity needs of the European countries. To facilitate collaboration, knowledge sharing, and access to the best practices and methodologies. It gives us a platform to speak, to exchange ideas, to try to innovate, to brainstorm as we approach the deadline of 2024 for the submission of VPR. AFOLO is a significant sector for GG emissions and removals in many developing countries. And also present a significant mitigation potential. This fact, along with the complexity of the sector and the lack of data and local expertise, poses a significant challenge for many developing countries when it comes to reporting. And only if countries have the data and information required for well-informed policy choices, can they actually show the ambition in climate action that is required. FAO is leading this important work, the global CBIT AFOLU project, is developing tools and resources to help countries enhance their greenhouse gas emissions inventories, track progress in achieving their NDCs, and monitor efforts to adapt to climate change in the agriculture and land use sectors. Core components of the CBIT, including establishing institutional branchments, knowledge development and data management, and having a trusted partner from the sector to support the work is critical. I want to applaud the success of FAO in creating a community of practice among experts focused on AFOLU. The FAO and PACPA are doing joint work on regional level by co-organizing regional capacity building workshops in the Cluster Francophone, the Asia Regional Group and the Anglophone African Group, where the FAO is contributing financially and with their expertise um, on AFOLU. Secondly, we are currently finalizing a BTR roadmap tool for which we join forces to develop a product that will serve PACPA countries, CBIT countries and also more countries beyond our programs. We've had excellent collaboration with FAO on an expert workshop on forest accounting questions for our ICAT Argentina project. This is a fundamental issue for the long-term decarbonization strategy of Argentina. And it is also essential for many other countries that rely on forest management as part of their mitigation efforts. Get inspired and be transparent because it really makes a difference.